Hello. Recently, I got hamster. As you can see, she's right here. And I wanted to share what it's really like to own a hamster. In total, I've owned two hamsters, Nyla over here and my previous hamster, Jabba. Both have been pretty different experiences. When I first got my hamster, it was out of impulse. All I knew was hamsters are cute. It's gonna be in a small cage in my desk. I'm gonna put it in a little hamster ball, gonna be running around, gonna be all cute and cuddly. Those were my first initial thoughts when getting a hamster. Then I got a hamster, it was quite different than what I originally thought. Maybe you think getting a hamster is kind of like this, but I'm gonna show you it's a little more like this. So yeah, I'm nowhere near a hamster expert or professional. I'm not a vet or anything like that. I'm just a regular girl who owns a hamster. Right. Quick update, if you've watched my previous video, it's me getting Nyla. Clearly, I updated to a Datov cage. Highly recommend. A lot more room for bedding and a lot more room for enrichment. And she absolutely loves it. Nyla is li <laughs> Nyla is living her best life. Don't she's not stressed. She just knows I'm near the cage and knows I have the food to give her. So I'm gonna bring her out so you can meet Nyla. Okay, this is Nyla. Just give a little oh, get off my laptop. Right. She is a female, I think winter white hamster. I've had her for just over a month now. She is a very energetic, high energy hamster who just loves running around. Definitely not the one to just chill in your lap and fall asleep. She's a pretty curious but calm hamster, not aggressive or scared easily, which is good. I personally am a pretty loud person and I listen to music pretty loud. I mean, she's not super bothered by that. That's great. So yeah, that's the kind of Nyla update. She's a very different personality than my previous hamster. So maybe you're wondering what the hamsters actually do and what do they actually get up to because any animal and any pet have a certain type of lifestyle and needs that need to be met and honestly hamsters kind of have pretty unique ones. Right so first and foremost hamsters run on their wheel a lot so it's really important to get them a good wheel. They mostly run at night because they're like nocturnal slash crepuscular. If you're wondering what that thing flying off of Nyla's wheel is, it's poo because she poos and pees on her wheel. Other than running on her wheel at night, she's kind of just up and about her cage. She does this cute thing where she goes like on her hind legs and her ears perk up. She usually does this when I'm near the cage because she either wants or begs me to give her treats and food. But yeah, she kind of just is around exploring her cage. She likes going in hideouts, the coconut, under bridges and in tunnels and just like running around her cage a lot. Again, most active at night or the evening time. Also, hamsters eat food. If you get them sprays, which I got Nile an oat spray right there, they can pick and forage for their own food. Most of the time when you give hamsters food, you won't see them eat it right away. They usually stuff it in their cheeks and save it for later. But there, Nyla is actually eating something. Also, they drink water, like I think everyone. Um, if you don't know what hamster drinking water looks like, well, there you go. And Nyla does this really cute thing where she like licks her paws after she's drank water. Why? I don't know, but it's cute. And hamsters chew. They need to chew a lot because their teeth never stop growing. So that could be wood, cardboard. There, I got her a whimsy. They also groom themselves a lot. They like to mostly do that in the sand. So that's why it's important to get your hamster a nice sand bath. But yeah, sometimes they will roll and dig in the sand. But yeah, they just groom themselves a lot. 
They also like to burrow, and burrow is basically just making tunnels underground. So these are some of Nyla's burrows, which are kind of impressive. They like to sleep and store their food in these burrows. Sometimes they will use the bathroom in the burrows. And Nyla likes to snack on her spider plant. It's like a little treat for her. So that's kind of Nyla's life, what she gets up to, her daily activities, her little hobbies, and I'm sure they are similar to most hamsters, maybe even all. Obviously, part of owning a hamster is cleaning the cage. My absolute favorite part, catch the sarcasm. So we have my little cleaning basket over here. This is not a spot clean. This is like a bigger clean of the cage. So while I clean the cage, I'm gonna put Nyla in here, maybe put a little chew toy in it. Also, where'd she go? She was... I'm going to try and clean the cage as fast as I can. But hopefully now I'll just chill up in here. Right, let's get to it. So I take everything out of the cage except for the bedding and the sand. But I take all of the accessories and hideouts out of the cage. Some of these things I will wash off with soap and water. Others I'll just dust off. Once I've done that, I'm taking out all the dead spider plant leaves, other dirt I found. Um, this is Nyla's hoard of food that I found that I'm just saving so I can put it back later. And I'm just cleaning up dirt and poop off the bottom of the cage. And bam! My phone fell in the sand, which is pretty dirty, so I had to clean my phone and my phone case. While this chaos was all happening, Nyla was just chilling, unbothered for the most part. Right, back to it. So, I was just taking out any dirty bedding I found, cleaning up the sand bath, which took a while. It was pretty dirty in there. Now it was time to put everything back. I bought some more bedding just so I could make it a bit deeper for Nyla so she can borrow more. Keep in mind, I only do this process every three to four weeks. It's a lot of work, it takes a while. This is me putting Nyla's hoard back. I tried, it <laughs> didn't go very well. And Nyla is still just chilling while I'm working hard. I bought her a new spider plant and yeah, it was pretty much time to just put everything back. I kept the same layout cause I liked it, but sometimes I will switch it up. During this process, all of Nyla's burrows were a bit ruined. So she'll have to make some more. This is just all of her chews that I'm putting back. Those are some herbs I'm sprinkling around. And yeah, that is the finished product, the nice clean cage. So glad it was over when it was, but it's done now, so that's great. You may already know that hamsters are not super domesticated and super comfortable with human interaction. And when you buy a hamster, you will have to tame it yourself. Taming is basically getting your hamster used to human interaction so they don't show aggression or fear towards you. They can trust you, maybe even bond with you. The key thing is you have to be patient and start slow. I started taming Nyla by just putting my scent on some tissue and leaving it in her cage so she just gets used to my smell. After doing that for a few days, I started hand feeding her slowly. Once she got comfortable, I put the tree in my palm so she's able to like climb onto my hand and just get more comfortable with me. Once she was able to do that comfortably, I just practiced like lifting her up so she gets used to that feeling. And then I kind of just have her on my hands, chilling. I would not take her out the cage. This would be like over the cage. Once I did take her out the cage, I made a playpen. That's what I bought off of Amazon. And I just zip tied everything together, made sure it was secure. And yeah, she'd pretty much just crawl on me. I'd practice stroking her. Nyla doesn't love being petted. 
Um, so yeah, she would kind of just like roam around. Sometimes she still bites me um, out of curiosity or thinking I'm food. So I wear socks and a hoodie just in case I want to cover my arms and fingers. Keep in mind that all hamsters are different. It did not take long for me to tame Nyla, but your hamster, it may take a long time or they may never be comfortable with human interaction. So don't force anything and really take it slow. I have not seen this talked about too much on the internet, but I'm going to be talking about hamsters and dogs. So if you don't already know, I have a dog. <laughs> I have a dog, his name's Murphy. He is 10 years old, I think. So my opinion straight off the bat, hamsters and dogs is an absolute no, absolutely not. Murphy is a dog. Nyla is a rodent. Murphy could eat her up in one go and he would, and he would not feel bad about it. So that's why Murphy is staying far away from Nyla. I have read some articles online saying hamsters and dogs can be tamed together. I'm sure it's possible. It clearly is possible, there's evidence, but it's just dangerous. I would not risk it ever. Already he has barked at Nyla. <laughs> Don't be <coughs> And when I was transitioning Nyla out of her bin cage to the dance hall, I hadn't cleaned the bin cage yet. It still smelled like Nyla and hamster or whatever. And Murphy started biting and growling the bin. <laughs> So that's all the information I needed to know that Murphy's not going anywhere near Nyla. It's definitely possible to have a dog and a hamster in a household at the same time. Clearly, I'm doing it. But you just do need to set some clear boundaries so everyone lives. Here are my pros and cons of owning a hamster. This list is compiled from my own experience. Some you may not agree with, and that's okay. The pros. So the absolute number one good thing about owning a hamster and maybe one of the reasons why you would even want to own a hamster is how cute they are. They are so small, they're so cute. Their paws are so small, their ears. The things they get up to is absolutely so cute to watch. Brings the joy, brings up the serotonin, all those things. Good thing, great thing. Second thing, they are somewhat low maintenance pets. They kind of take care of themselves. They eat on their own time. They go on their wheel and play around, burrow, and even bathe themselves on their own time. Obviously for a hamster to do that, you do have to provide them a suitable living space and diet and obviously keep an eye on them if they ever need the vet or anything. But in general, hamsters are pretty self-sufficient, which kind of makes them low maintenance, which is great. Would I find that a pro completely. Personally, another pro of owning a hamster is how they are a short-term commitment pet. You may disagree with this point, which I totally understand. Sometimes having a short-term commitment pet is a nice thing. Obviously, it's very sad when a hamster passes. It's so sad. I did not think it would be as sad as it was. It was very upsetting when my last hamster passed. If your life is ever-changing and fast-paced. You may not know what your life is gonna look like in five, 10 years, and a pet may not be suitable for you at that time, but a hamster, if you know like the next two, three years of your life, you're able to commit to owning a hamster and you want a pet and all of that, hamsters are a good option. So for me, that is a pro. One thing I absolutely love about owning a hamster in the hamster community is how creative we first off have to be and can be. For example, and there's just lots of other different hamster hacks and cool things. I love it. You can be so creative. Obviously, creativity with caution, but overall, it's kind of a nice process, especially if you're like a creative person. 
as you may know hamsters are nocturnal slash crepuscular so they're mainly sleeping in the day and for me this is a pro because me too so me and nyla are kind of on the same sleep schedule which is great so i can see her more spend some time with her see what she's up to that's a pro for me now for the cons the bad things about owning a hamster the first one you need to do a lot of research there is a lot of misinformation about hamsters general hamster care and hamster knowledge is not common knowledge it's not like dogs and cats so you gotta get on hamster reddits and forums and get in the hamster community hamster youtube all of that it's not the end of the world but it is definitely an inconvenience and a little sad you may disagree with this con but i am broke so owning a hamster is a little expensive the cage the bedding the wheel accessories are pretty expensive and especially if you fall in the trap of going on amazon and looking at all these cute hamster things and you just convince yourself to buy them all bedding and food and chew toys are things that you will consistently have to buy so yeah it's not free so if it's not free then it's a con taming taming a hamster <laughs> you gotta put in extra work so your hamster gets used to human interaction which kind of sucks kind of gambling a little bit when you get hamster you don't know if this hamster will ever get used to human interaction or will be the most comfortable cuddly hamster there is you don't know so you have to invest time and your patience into taming a hamster which sometimes sucks but it's not the end of the world along with taming hamsters can get aggressive and bite you biting and being aggressive isn't fun and it can happen and maybe will happen at least once hamsters can be aggressive honestly like any animal either way it's still a con this last con may differ for everyone but hamsters are not super emotionally fulfilling animals like dogs you can cuddle with and play with a bit more than you can with hamsters but it may be different for you it might be just the right amount of emotional fulfillment so those are my pros and my cons of owning a hamster you may disagree and that's okay here is some of my advice i'm going to leave you with do so much research before getting a hamster i got hamsters spontaneously i will not be doing that ever again trust the people not the pet stores pet stores are filled with misinformation bad products for your hamster tiny cages not good i trust other youtubers hamster owners on reddit and all of that and always ask yourself what can i do to make this little life just a bit more interesting their life can get boring pretty quick if they lack enrichment like i just emptied the loo roll why not just add it into my hamster's cage to make it a bit more interesting why don't i let them try a carrot today or why don't i build a little maze for them i don't know whatever you gotta do but just ask yourself what can you do to make this hamster's life just a bit more interesting don't stress too much if your hamster care is not exactly like mine or someone else you see on the internet just know there is a definite wrong way of taking care of a hamster but there is many different variations of the right way so don't stress too much i hope this video was entertaining or helpful i hope this video was helpful i absolutely love reading comments so you can leave a comment if you desire but yeah that is pretty much it thanks for watching